Hello, so you've recently purchased the Focusrite Forte USB audio interface and you want to begin recording music. I'm going to take you through all of the necessary setup steps, including how to use the touch mode menus so that you can record with an instrument and a condenser microphone. Before you contact a support team, make sure you go through all of these steps and we're confident you won't need any further assistance. First, let's have a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box, you get the Forte interface itself. And underneath this compartment, you get the power supply, a USB cable, and the breakout cable. The breakout cable is essential for connecting microphones and instruments to the Forte. There's a getting started guide and a card. Now the card contains the bundle code necessary for receiving the free software that comes with your Forte. And that's the Midnight plugin suite. Now before we get set up, I'd like to highlight a few important points regarding the power supply and the USB cable that come in the box. Always ensure you're using the correct power supply that comes in the Forte's box. This is an AC adapter with an input of 100 to 240 volts and an output of 5 volts, 3000 milliamps. Using the wrong power supply for certain units can damage them beyond repair. So just double check that. And similarly, use the USB cable that comes in the Forte box. If you use a longer USB cable or connect to a hub that then connects to your computer, you might experience dropouts or performance issues. So just double check those things. First, we need to register the unit. So I'm gonna take you through that now. So as per the card I just showed you, we need to visit the website www.focusrite.com forward slash register. So I'm using Google Chrome here. Uh, you might be using an internet browser called Safari or Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer if you're on PC. Um, but I'm going to be using Google Chrome and I need to enter the URL now. And I don't have an account, so I'm going to click on don't have an account. And I'm going to enter my personal details now. And country of residence. And a memorable password. and then enter the code in the box. And click on register. If you need more time to fill out these uh, fields, pause the video and resume once you've filled everything in. So now you can see in my account, I've got my name, country, email address, and email verified, it says no here. So we need to verify our email address now. Click on the link and an email will have been sent to our email address. So I need to log in. I'm using Gmail, so I'm gonna visit Gmail. And I'm gonna log in. And as you can see in my inbox, I've got a, an email from Focusrite. In order to verify your email, please click on the following link. So we need to click on that link there. So now you can see email verified. Yes, it is. So that's great. Now what we need to do is register our product. So on this link here, I'm going to click that. And in this drop down menu, I'm going to select the product. Now, why do we need to register the product? To access any free software and activation codes that come with your product, ensure you have the latest drivers, software and firmware, receive information about software, drivers and firmware updates, and control your contact preferences. So I'm going to click on Get My Stuff. So now we need to enter the code on the bottom of the card that we were referring to earlier on. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, 
and I'm going to include the date of purchase here and where the product was purchased as well. When you're ready, click on Submit. So now you can see our product is registered. So you can see the Forte there. We also have free bundled software, the Midnight Plugin Suite, and the activation code is here. We'll need that a bit later on. So now what we also need to install is the Forte control software. So what we need to do is click on this link here. So now we need to install the Midnight Plugin Suite and the Forte control software. So what we'll do is we'll click on the .dmg for Mac because we're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, simply install the .exe. I'm going to click on that. And I'm also going to click on the Forte control software as well. So these two installers will arrive here in the Downloads tab. They'll also appear in our Finder and Downloads folder. So the installers will appear here. I'm just going to close this. After we install the Forte control software, you're prompted to restart your Mac so that the installation can complete. So what I'm going to do first is install the Midnight plugin suite and then install the Forte control software. So once that's complete, simply click on it and minimize your web browser. Here, as you can see, a folder appears with installmidnight.pkg. We need to double click on that. Now the installer will load. So click on continue, continue again, and begin the installation. Agree to the licensing agreement, and click on install. Enter your Mac password. and the installation will begin. If you need more time, again, pause the video and resume once your installation is complete. So now we need to go back to our web browser and click on the Forte Control installer. So I'm gonna do that and again, minimize my web browser. Double click on the .pkg file and continue through the installation. Agree to the licensing agreement and install it. When this software finishes installing, you must restart your computer as we discussed. So click on continue installation. So the installation is successful and now we need to restart the Mac. So we'll reconvene after the Mac's restarted. So now that the Mac's restarted, we need to load Pro Tools and load an instance of the Midnight plugin suite and activate the plugins. So I'm going to open Pro Tools and create a new blank session. So now I just need to create a blank session. And I need to create a new track. Now in the mix window, if you go to window and then select mix, you need to load an instance of the midnight compressor or midnight EQ. So I'm going to go to dynamics and select the midnight compressor. And as you can see, you've got three different options here. Just close this window. You've got demo mode, buy or activate. Now we've got a license, so we need to activate. This will take us to the Focusrite eStore page where we register the Midnight plugin suite. So we need to put in our personal details. Select your operating system, in this case Mac OS X, and your country, and click into the activation code field here. Now we need to go back to our account 
from the Focusrite website. As you can see, we've got the activation code here. So we highlight that. And as I'm using a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command and C to copy and Command and V to paste. If using a PC, use Control and C to copy and Control and V to paste. Now we go back to the eStore page and hit Command and V to paste that code. Now click on Submit. As you can see, the software activation is now successful and your software license has been emailed to your email account. It also appears in the Downloads tab here in the bottom of the page. And if you need to locate it, you open a Finder window, go to Downloads and there's your .fnlf file here. So we need to remember where that is and go back to Pro Tools and this time click on Install License. We go to our Downloads folder, select the Midnight Plugin Suite License File .fnlf, click on Select, enter your Mac password and all of the plugins are now activated and ready to use in your session. Now we need to connect the Forte to our computer via USB. Also, we need to plug in the power supply. The power supply is crucial for sending phantom power to microphones which require a power source. I'm using a condenser microphone which requires a power source. I also need to plug in the breakout cable. And on mic input one, I'm gonna plug in the XLR cable from the mic. And on line input two, or instrument input two, I'm gonna connect the jack lead of the guitar. So now we've got the microphone going on channel one and the guitar going into channel two. Now we need to set up phantom power for the microphone. By pressing the input icon once, I can toggle between input one and input two. Pressing it once here, input one, and pressing it again, input two. So we want to add phantom power to input one, so I'm gonna press it back to input one, and then I'm gonna press and hold it to access further options for that input. So the type of input between mic, line, and inst. And to toggle through these, you press the control knob. So now I'll select mic, and below this is plus 48V or phantom power. So press it again and turn phantom power on. You can also add high pass filter, phase reverse the signal, or add a pad. Pressing the input icon again, and once more, I access input two. I press and hold to access further options, and I want to select inst. You can select the line input source as well, but as it's an instrument, we'll select inst. You'll see the 48V or phantom power is grayed out because the instrument doesn't require a power source. Similarly, in the control software, I can simply click on 48V and add phantom power on either input, or I can select which type of input I want from mic, line, or instrument. But these are correct, so I'm gonna leave them as they are. Now I need to sound check, so I'm gonna ask my artist to play both guitar and sing at the same time and adjust the level so nothing's clipping. So now Joe's playing guitar for me. I can press the input icon to select input two where the guitar is coming in and I can turn down the input gain to stop it from going into the red. A nice constant green signal is a healthy signal. Repeat this process for the microphone input. To control the monitor volume, press the speaker icon and move the wheel to increase or decrease accordingly. To control the headphone mix to the artist, press the headphone icon and adjust the volume. To access the preferences of either menu, press and hold the speaker icon and you'll see mute, dim, mono, clear meter and exit for both options. So now that we've got the microphone connected to the Forte's first input and the guitar connected to the Forte's second input, we need to create two channels in Pro Tools and set the Forte as the input and output device in Pro Tools. So first we need to do that, click on Setup and select Playback Engine. And in this top drop-down menu here, we click on that and select Forte. 
Selecting this playback engine will automatically save and close your session. The session will be reopened afterwards. So click on yes, click on OK, and the session will reload. So now I need to go into setup and go to IO. So now in the IO setup menu, we can see we've got two sets of outputs and we've got a stereo set of inputs. So click on default and that'll set the Forte as a default device for the session and click on OK. Now we need to create two tracks. So click on track and new and create two mono tracks. Click on create and what we need to do is record on both channels and in the transport control here, click on record and then click on play and your artist can begin playing. So now that I've recorded audio into my door, I can control my session in more ways than simply adjusting volumes or input gains. By pressing the door icon, I can access a number of commands, like here in Pro Tools, zoom, when I move the wheel, or when I press the wheel, play. For further features, press and hold the door icon, and now you can change the rotation feature to fast forward or rewind, or scrub, and by pressing the icon again, I can show you the wheel now controls fast forward and rewind. Just in case you do experience any problems with the Forte, you can restore the factory defaults. So click on File, and then simply click on Restore Factory Defaults. So by now you should be happily recording and monitoring your session. If you have any problems whatsoever, please contact our support team. Thanks a lot for watching.